everybody. Welcome back to Scrapping Fancy. I hope you guys are having a good Saturday. This is Lisa and I'm here today with a flip through of a new envelope journal that I did. This is maybe my favorite kind of journal to make so far, at least of the journals that I've tried because I love to figure out how I'm gonna fit all the envelopes together and give um, lots of places for secret treasures and ways for you to rearrange the journal if you want to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Front page of the journal is just a large coffee dyed envelope. Got seam binding here that holds the journal shut and that can just lie to the side for you. Uh, the quote on the front is one of my very favorites. It says, find out where joy resides and give it a voice far beyond singing. For to miss the joy is to miss it all. I think that's a really important quote for everybody right now with all that we've been through. Um, I hope that we can all find places where joy resides. That's my prayer for everybody today. Um, we've also got some pretty pink flowers. And when we open the page, this is the front page of the journal for first spread. Uh, I'd like to just point out that this is dictionary paper that was hand painted by Val's Heartfelt Paper. She has beautiful things in her shop. I will be linking her and everyone else I can think of that was involved um, in the pieces of the journal in the description box below. So be sure you check that out. There's just a little ticket that's clipped on here, little tag and ticket. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. And that's not attached, so you can unclip that if you choose to. The first flip here in the journal is this music page stitched envelope. So of course it's open. This is just a little stacked collage that's held on with this rusty clip. And if we take that off, we're gonna find I, in here in the journal, there's a coffee dyed card. There's a series of labels on here that I made, um, Edith Holden labels that I made. And the back still has pattern just not as intense, so that there's plenty of room here for you if you'd like to write on that card. And then keep it kind of private and secret and tucked in its little envelope. And then the journal stack just is loose, you can do whatever you want with that. But the clip will hold in your journal card and it'll also hold in that little collage stack. And under the stack decorating that music paper envelope is just a bright piece of Tilda Fabric, a bright, happy piece. So let's flip that envelope and move on. And on the what would be the front of the music paper envelope, there's this pretty rose card that I turned into a pocket and a tag in here. And this is a quote from Walt Whitman that I typed on there um, that says, happiness, not in another place, but in this place, not in another hour, but in this hour. So that kind of goes along with the quote on the front of the journal about finding places where joy still resides. Um, and it gave, made me happy, gave me a little happiness that uh, without planning it, the word happiness fits in the thumb knot to that pocket, which I did not plan. Um, serendipity strikes again. Um, this is the next envelope flipping in the journal, this green flower stitched envelope. This big part of the pocket here is empty for you. Kind of ready for you to stick a letter or photos or whatever you want to treasure in there. This is an envelope with an embossed flap and a crocheted flower. This envelope pulls all the way out of there. And in the envelope, you're gonna find this little stitched or embossed bird, sorry, that's held on there to this music paper, which I folded kind of like a letter and then if you open that up, you're gonna find a library card in here. And I typed one of my favorite parts of a Mary Oliver poem on there. So I'll leave that for you to read. And the little embossed birdie goes right back on with the little clip. Back into the envelope like that. And that slides right in. And before we fold that flap down, this is the what this green stitched envelope looks like when that flaps up. So we're gonna flip that over 
And on this page, there's just another one of those stacked collages. I really enjoy doing those in journals. And of course it leaves loose pieces, which means you can reorganize this to your heart's content. So we just have a fussy cut rose, a polka dot envelope, polka dot green fabric. This is a embossed piece of vintage ledger paper. And of course you can tuck in whatever else you want in here on top of that green floral envelope. The next little envelope that's flipping is an envelope I made out of handmade paper. And inside to match, you're gonna find another piece of handmade paper. And I typed another part of a Mary Oliver poem that I love on that piece of paper. And I'll leave that in there for you to discover. And then that flips over. And in here, there is this little card that talks about happiness, uh, happiness scale, what's making me happy today, what would make me happy, oh happy day, and there's a vintage doily on here for you, and the back also has roses on it. So that's a really pretty little card actually from Seven Gypsies. And that just goes right back in like that. So we're gonna move on to this page. This is the envelope that's gonna flip on this page this green envelope with the butterfly, an embossed tag, and a number label. I'm gonna flip that open to see here this glassine bag with this super pretty image on it. In the glassine bag, there's an embossed manila tag, and believe it or not, a part of a poem typed on it from Mary Oliver. And that goes right back in its pocket. It's got some really pretty lace tied on it. And this has in it, because we don't leave a lot empty, but I did leave a few things empty. There's just a journaling card in here with this rose gold reinforcer and this little scrap of fabric that said flower on it that's just stitched onto the journaling card. And that lives in that green envelope right there. So we're gonna close that and then we're ready to flip. The next page is the most uh, complex one in the journal and so therefore was my favorite. So we're gonna flip it all over. This is a coffee dyed piece of music paper that I folded into an envelope with this embossed bird on it. I'm gonna pull this back a little so you can see it. If we flip open the envelope, there's a poetry quote here. And then this is empty. You can, if you wanna put things in there, you sure can. We'll move that up a little so I'm back in frame. And then to start on this envelope stack, we have this small text page envelope with a little bit of embroidery here. And there's a clip here that's holding in this pretty little French frame journaling card that I got from the Graphics Fairy and a number label. And those just clip right back in. This stitched polka dot envelope has a journaling card on it from Ruby and Pearl XO which is one of my very favorite shops and Heather's one of my favorite people. Um, check out her shop and her YouTube channel, all Ruby and Pearl XO. And I'll be linking that below for you. If we open that envelope, clipped onto the envelope, there's another card that says happy memory. This is an avocado dyed bag. And in the bag, there's this rose tag with rose gold reinforcers and this bit of avocado dyed cheesecloth. So we're just going to set that aside for a minute and then move the clip. And inside the polka dot envelope, you will find that I put in a little piece, can't get a hold of it, there we go. Um, this is a part of a download from Saturday Stamper, which is another one of my favorite shops. And I just folded that up like a letter to keep inside that pocket. And if so that will just go right back in. And then this little collage stack just gets clipped right back on. Now this piece that says live simply in the moment is a download from Grafique, which is one of my favorite shops on Etsy. And we just have a number label right up here and a fussy cut rose. So the way that shuts is polka dots go back, 
small envelope goes back, this envelope flips down, and we're done with that page. This page is another stitched floral envelope. This guest check attached has a part of a poem on it by Wendell Berry that I typed on the guest check. And this is gonna flip up, so this could be a tuck if you wanted it to be. And on the edge of the envelope, I've got a pretty fabric ruffle. And inside here we have another page from Ruby and Pearl XO. I just love that page. And you could also write on the back of it, I left it plain, and that just goes right in this big, bigger envelope right here. But of course, you could also stick anything else in there that you wanted, um, a letter that was special to you, anything like that. So we're gonna take the floral envelope here and flip that over. And this is another um, download from Graphique that I really like. And that's just clipped on to that floral envelope. So this could be another tuck if you wanted it to be. And then I left this envelope empty for you also. So there's a nice big space in here where you can tuck in anything that you'd like, okay? So that's for you right there. On this page, this is just an embossed butterfly pocket that's linen paper. I don't know if you can see the texture, but it's like a linen texture paper. It's really pretty. And this is a vintage ledger tag with a reinforced hole and some more of that gorgeous lace that just tucks right in and a really pretty um, flower tag also with the rose gold reinforcers that goes in right on top of the ledger tag and there's plenty of room for you to write on those or attach anything to those that you might like. So we're going to take this envelope and flip and on this side we're going to find this large pretty pocket with this pretty floral paper and another one of those little embossed birds. In the pocket, there's a vintage ledger tag with some really pretty, kind of like a dusty rose um, sari silk tying it that goes right back in the pocket. And then this is a really pretty uh, tag with roses on it. And this is a little ticket that's stapled on it that says, let us live like flowers wild and beautiful and drenched in sun. And this ticket is from a shop on Etsy called The Hopeful Bird, which is a lovely shop and please go check out that shop. And when I put this tag in, I like to put it in so that the ticket overlaps the edge of the pocket and you can read the whole pretty quote. So this is kind of technically the last envelope in the journal right here, this um, text page envelope. It's got this little rose clip to it, another little fussy cut rose, because I like to stick those everywhere. And then inside the pocket, oops, there's a page from a vintage botany and floral book. So that's a double-sided page that's in here for you. And it's not a big thick page or anything, which means that you could also, if you wanted to, stick anything else right into that pocket. just don't want to bend it when I close it. Just doesn't, there we go. And there it's in there. So flip that over and there's that text envelope. This is the last opening that you're going to find here in the journal. And in this opening, there is a really pretty little, well not little, this is a pretty big journaling card. This is one of my favorite ones. I love how it says manual of everything for the garden. And I just used a punch to make some pretty corners on that card, which is also a download from Ruby and Pearl XO. And that goes right in there. And so this is the flap that closes. The envelope here just has a little tag on it that has room for the sari or I guess this is seam binding, yep, seam binding. So that will hold it, but you could just unwind it and take it off if you didn't want it there. And then if you flip the journal back over, then here's your seam binding. And you can just take your seam binding, and it kind of sits in between those flowers. You just take your seam binding and just 
tie your bow again. And there's your journal. So I hope you've enjoyed the flip through. Um, like I said, these are one of my favorite things to make. Um, it reminds me of going on like a scavenger hunt or a treasure hunt when I was little. Uh, so I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and a blessed Sunday. I really appreciate you being here with me today and I hope that you'll subscribe and come back and hang out with me again. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.